I'm Christine Leahy, and this is The Five on WEEI.com, presented by the Ira Motor Group. You heard what Tom Brady had to say about four of his teammates being sent home from practice for being late. Now, Adelius Thomas, who is one of the four, is talking for himself, and he's taken aback. Thomas says the snow set him and his teammates back and even takes a shot at Belichick. I'll let Chris Price explain that part, but Adelius, I feel ya. I was late to work that morning, too. Slippery roads and a Mini Cooper aren't a great mix. Check it out at number one. The Patriots play the Panthers this weekend, which under normal circumstances wouldn't be so scary. But after the last few games, I'd say they should keep their eyes on those cats because after all, we know Panthers have a history of being successful. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. Okay, maybe that's just Ron Burgundy's cologne, but seriously, Chris Price has five things you should watch for this Sunday at number two. The Celtics are back on a roll, extending their winning streak to nine after a close win over the Wizards. Something I'll take, but apparently that doesn't impress Michael Hawley, who still has the C's at number two on his power rankings. That is up from last week, but come on, number one is, you guessed it, the Lakers. The only reason I'm liking the Lakers right now is because I'm looking forward to seeing Lamar in the Kardashians reality show. Maybe Michael's trying to get in good with those guys, so they'll invite him to meet Kim Kardashian. Who knows? But today he's got your NBA power rankings at number three. I got my wish. We can use this clip of Phil Kessel again because, once again, his game just couldn't match up to the likes of his old team. It's disappointing. I decided to play well, so... Uh... To give him credit, Kessel did play a little bit better than he did last Saturday against the Bruins. Was it the taunting from the fans that got to him? The Bruins sure don't mind the help. Um, you know, uh, hopefully they do it next game too. Greg Woodburn has the hat trick at number four. As if the Tiger Woods scandal couldn't get any creepier, Meter and a female employee here at the radio station read the transcripts of some of his alleged text messages with Jamie Grubbs. Just listen. I drove out for the night to surprise a friend with a present for their birthday. What kind of present? Your naked, bodacious body? Ha ha ha. No, a watch. I slept alone. Alone with him, that is? Ha ha ha. I wish. Miss you. Oh, that's so hot. Who is your new boy toy? No new boy toy. Still running dry. Been on two real dates in the past two months. Sad. Hear all the audio at number five. Those are the five things to check out today on WEEI.com. Make sure to check out the week that was before you head into your weekend. We obviously talk more Tiger. I'm Christine Leahy, and that's The Five on WEEI.com, presented by the Ira Motor Group. Call Ira, 1-866-CALL-IRA, or click iracars.com.